He's genuinely my type. He's actually really thoughtful and really sweet. I feel like we're on the same kind of vibe to know him. <laughs> He's easy on eyes and he brings a vibe to the villa. I Am I the only one who's praying to the Love Island gods that please can you leave some of these couples alone? We don't need another toxic black couple like what you did with Tanya and Shaq last season, even though they're still going strong after the show has ended. I love Tariq and Ella. I think they're the romantic couple. I wish they would leave them alone like that. I love Richie and Andre. I think they're the cutesy couple. And I love Whitney and uh, Medi because I think they're the hilarious couple that is going to be reading everyone and giving commentary on every relationship in the villa. So I'm just praying that they leave those three couples alone. But anyway, I digress. Hey there, it's Valerie. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new to my channel, please click the like button, turn on the notification bell for when I upload new videos, leave a comment, and imp most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Um, in this episode, I'll be reviewing Love Island, season 10, episode 5. Um, so we start off with Tariq and Ella. I think Tariq and Ella are very romantic. They're very cutesy as well at times. So they're having a conversation. I think they are a slow burn, and I think Ella is going to be the one who turns the bad boy into a good guy. But I'm here for it and I'm waiting for it. I love the fact that he brought her a coffee, which was very cutesy cutesy. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, here we go again. This Molly Mitchell drama is getting too much. I think it's unnecessary, really. So um, Molly has a conversation with Sammy. Apparently, they got along very well. They had great banter. In my opinion, I thought his date with Jess was the best. But hey. I wasn't there. I only saw the edited bits. Um, and um, so just had initially told the islanders that he was going to pursue everyone. And I'm surprised that he actually approached um, Mitchell first before speaking to Molly to say he was interested in pursuing things with Molly because Molly said she was open. Um, and then Mitchell was taken aback. And it's like, why are you taking her back? It's only day four, day five. She barely knows you. Just because she's cuddling you in bed and she's kissing you doesn't mean she's closed off. Um, Mitchell then sat down with Molly and had a conversation and sort of told her I'm going to withdraw because I feel I am making more of an effort than you are. It's like Molly has just got attention from Zachariah. So why should she focus on you? She wanted Zachariah when he walked in, but he picked the three other people of color so she thought she didn't stand a chance now he's opened the door she's ready to step in um and so that conversation didn't make sense to me and for molly to go and sit there and start crying it's like what it's either you like the guy or you don't why are you crying you told him you want to get to know other people which means your connection is not as strong as he thinks it is so keep quiet keep it moving he told you he'll be there and you know do your thing if he's still around you can go back to him so keep it moving there's no need for all this drama and the girl's trying to pacify her and stuff. Oh, for what? It didn't make sense. I think <laughs> Catherine is happy that um, Mitchell stays with uh, Molly. That way, you know, she can have Zachariah to herself. That's just my opinion. Zachariah had told the girl that she was still going to try and chat with Molly. Um, and then Jesse, Jesse, I think once, I think everyone has an ulterior motive. That's my opinion. Because Jesse was sort of saying that Molly's just playing with Mitchell because, you know, she's trying to be the guy and explore different connections. I think M Jess wants Molly out of the way so that she can have Sammy. And I think Catherine wants Molly out of the way so she can have Zachariah. So everyone would be happy if Molly stayed with Mitchell. That's just the impression that I got. And I said this before and I'll say it again. I love Medi and Whitney together. I, I remember saying in my review that I don't care whether they're romantic coupling or whatever. I like their banter and I have a feeling they're going to be the funniest duo in the villa and they're going to be reading situations for film and it's going to be amazing commentary. So I really like them together and I hope they stay together as a couple. Seriously, this is going to be an, a Molly heavy episode and we don't really need that really because there's nothing interesting about her. There's nothing captivating about her personality that would want you would make you want to watch her. If it was Jess, Jess is hilarious. Then I'd say, yeah, I, I love a bit of Jess. You know, she's going to have a bit of banter. She's going to be flirting with someone. But Molly, I don't get it because she had a conversation with Zachariah. It didn't make sense. She said she just wanted to relax because he chilled her out. She had a conversation with Sammy. It was more flirting. Sammy was actually caressing her legs. And you could see across, you know, 
the villa that Mitchell was still in his feelings and he was staring her down and just like, you're not married to her, allow her to do her thing. And so he was sort of talking to the girls and saying, you know, I don't know whether it's because she's younger than me, but I really like her and I'm really invested. And he's like, it's only five days. What about when it's four weeks? You'll be married to her by then. Uh, I don't know. And I also liked Ella and um, Tariq. They were in the kitchen with Jess, sort of trying to fill out Jess about her date with Sammy and see how that was going. They were excited for her because they really wanted to find someone. This is what I said yesterday, that I think everybody in the villa loves Jess, but they don't love her in a romantic sense. So they're hoping that a bombshell comes in, that she will be romantically attracted to, and they can couple up and she stays in the villa. Because I think she brings the fun side out of most of the people. Um... Mitchell had a conversation with uh, Jess and Catherine and he was moaning about the fact that, um, you know, Molly didn't seem very serious about about him as he as serious as he was about her. And so Catherine was sort of explaining to him that, you know, they, she's in the same situation with him because Molly and Zachariah are pulling each other for chats, but she's remaining chill. And I'm like, I don't think Zacharias is into Catherine as he makes out and I don't know why people were so hyped as soon as he coupled up with, with Catherine because I don't think he likes her like that and it's sad that all the other guys are now coupling up with people so Andre has already moved on he's going towards Richie and Catherine is going to be left on her own I have a feeling this is what's going to happen because people are going to get fed up of um of Mitchell and his antics and they're going to vote him out which means Zachariah is going to go to Molly and Kath Catherine if she's not smart she's going to be left on her own and she's going to be booted out of the villa and it will be sad it will be sad because it, they had a great bunch i know ella's in a romantic coupling with tyreek so chances are she will stay in and whitney because of her personality people love her and she will stay in and catherine sadly she she's a beautiful girl but i don't think she has the personality like whitney to sort of sustain her time in the villa and it's I think there's something going on between Catherine and Whitney because I've barely seen them together and it doesn't make sense to me. I've seen Ella and Kath and Whitney, but I haven't seen Catherine and Whitney. So I'm wondering what's going on between those two girls. So everybody gets ready for bed and it's interesting that uh, Rishi dives into bed with Andre. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a recoupling so that they can recouple. And Mitchell is in his feelings. He's sort of turned away because he told... Uh, Molly that he didn't want to be cuddling her or kissing her in bed so he's trying to sort of contain himself and not touch her or do anything and then Zachariah for him to pat Catherine on the leg to me doesn't make sense you said you were attracted to her you chose her to recouple with her and this is how you treat her like she's one of your mates that doesn't make sense to me that doesn't make sense that makes me question that relationship as i said he came in with a strategic plan of of getting public votes and he chose catherine for a reason and now that he's in the villa he's starting to turn his head around and look for other people and i have a feeling he's going to stay with catherine as long as he thinks it it helps his gameplay but i think long term he will look for someone like molly to couple up with and that's who he will stay with i might be wrong but we'll see Everybody goes to bed. Obviously, Sammy sleeps downstairs because there are not enough beds upstairs. And in the morning, so everybody is set off into groups to have conversations. Molly's talking about the fact that she still wants to talk to Sakaraya and she wants to talk to Mitchell and she's open to talking to Sam. And for me, I think Molly's just doing that just because these guys are giving her attention. I don't think she's doing it because she's attracted to them. I might be wrong, but I don't get it. And I like the fact that... um um Tariq called out Zachariah he said to Zachariah you know um I don't feel you're as attracted to Catherine as you are to Molly and Zachariah, Zachariah didn't query that because if he really was that into Catherine he would have said yes I, I am more attracted to Catherine but he didn't question that he didn't say anything to that so which makes me feel that Catherine is his safety blanket and I hope she realizes this and she catches on to this um, and she makes moves but the problem is at the moment in the villa there's no one that she's going to be attracted to because the only person was Andre and Andre already has two people going after him he has Whitney he has Rishi so she's lost her place with Andre and I don't know what's going to happen with her and anymore um Mitchell says he wants to take a step back and is just going to sit there and watch and see what happens that is like yeah what do you expect 
you have no choice. You have to move according to Molly's pace because you put all your eggs in Molly's basket. So she is going to yank your chain until she's ready to sort of, you know, be a couple with you or until she's ready to see the final. I think she's going to continue to, 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 to sort of switch in between the guys because all she wants is to stay in the villa and she needs someone to always choose to recouple with her. That's the impression that I get. Um, George and Whitney. I don't even know why we had that conversation. I think George is boring. I think all Whitney's conversations should do with Maddie and they should be discussing everybody else's relationships in the villa, giving us commentary, giving us shade. And I would be here for that. I would vote for them every single week so that they make it to the final because I think they're going to be the most hilarious couple. And I hope once they leave the villa, they get their own show and they give reviews on Love Island. So the islanders receive a message that um, there will be a recoupling and the girls will get to pick and everyone is anxious. You can see Andre is anxious, I think because he doesn't know whether he's made that much of an impression on anyone for them to pick him. Mitchell is anxious because um, Molly's been floating everywhere so he doesn't know who she's going to pick and um, I think Tariq is confident because he knows he and Ella are in a good place. Uh, Zachariah. I don't know. Anyway, after getting dressed and having their drinks, Zachariah is having a conversation with someone and he's like, oh, if she picks me, I don't know whether she's going to take me to the end. I don't know whether she's going to pick me. But if she picks me, then this is this is sort of a boost. And it's like, so is he only with Catherine to get to the end, to get to the finale, as I said? Or is he with Catherine because he really likes her? Because this is episode five and we've barely seen them have a conversation up outside of their date on the terrace and the dates that he went with her we barely get to hear the conversation or we barely get to see them at least you see Tariq and ella all the time even rishi you see her diving into bed with andre every night and so i don't get that coupling i'm still going to continue to say it i don't get catherine and um zach as a couple i think zach is just using her and i've said this and i know this is going to upset some people i think zach is using her catherine gets a message to say everyone should gather around the fire pit because it's time to recouple. And for me, the the first two recouplings were sweet and the producers were shady because normally you would expect the bombshell to pick first. I would have expected Whitney to get first dibs at who she picks. So first up we have Ella, she picks Tariq, that's a given. They really like one another. They always spend a lot of time. He's being so sweet. He brought her coffee in the morning. And so I wasn't surprised when she picked him and she said, you know, he's got a big heart. I think Ella is going to be the girl who turns the bad boy into a good guy. And I can see this happening. Um, and then we have Rishi. She picks Andre and she's so giggly. Rishi is, uh, Rishi is smitten. Rishi loves Andre. She's falling in love with Andre. Andre is very sort of, He's very contained. I love Medi. Medi was sort of cheering as as Richie was talking about Andre, and it was like, oh, I really love their friendship with Richie. Medi's friendly friendship with Richie, the fact that he's able to be excited for her, even knowing that by her recoupling with Andre, he could be going home. So I thought that was cute. I wasn't sure about Whitney. I don't know whether she really wanted Andre or not. There was this funny look that she gave. She was excited that Andre was picked, but I don't know whether she wanted Andre for herself. I think. At the moment in the villa, there's no guy that she's romantically attracted to. And I think her and Medi could get each other to the end. Uh, um, I think Whitney and Medi could get each other to the end because they are so funny and they would be that comedic couple as I've always cheered for them. But we'll see how that goes. It's funny how Richie and um, Ella's speeches were very emotional. Whereas I feel like Catherine and Molly were more forced in their speeches because Catherine spoke about, oh, he gives me butterflies. Oh, he's good looking. But there was nothing of substance that she said about this guy. She says she likes how things are going. And it's like, how are things going? We've barely seen how things are going. I think Zachariah thought Molly was going to pick him. I think that's what he thought. Because he was excited, but mm, not really that excited. Uh, Molly, on her part, I think realized that once Zachariah was gone, she had no choice. Or maybe the producers told her that she needed to pick Mitchell. So she picked Mitchell and they both sat there very awkwardly. Mitchell was sort of touching her and caressing her leg. And she just had her hands sort of um, held together and seemed very uncomfortable. I think she had to pick Mitchell so that Jess could pick Sammy. That way it would leave Maddie and George and Catherine would have to be the deciding vote on who goes home, even though the producers, because of all the backlash, wanted George gone home. That's the impression that I get. So Whitney gets to choose. She talks 
she talks about thinking about the long game and she is right that the long game Maddie will get her further than her staying with George because George wasn't it George wasn't it in my opinion so her picking Maddie makes more sense because even if they are not in a, a romantic relationship they will be a hilarious couple in the sense that they will be the comedy couple that we all need this season and people it will be very difficult for people to hate on them so they could get each other to the finale um and so I was happy that she chose Maddie George was going to go home because of the negative press he's been getting and I think when he gets home he realized why he went home Maddie looked a bit anxious when it was just the two of them left up there because I think he thought he was going home but I'm happy that um you know um Whitney chose him and the guys were surprised and they were all crying and it's like no I don't know whether you'll be as tearful when you get home and you see what his exes have been saying about him but anyway I really enjoyed this episode it was great to see so we'll catch up again tomorrow next time thanks guys for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe bye everyone